What's up, my name is Jay, and in this video, I wanna show you how you can add the skeleton loading to your page. This is something that a lot of big companies and cool websites are using on their page to simulate the loading of the elements. So here I have, you can see, um, this is my city, Orlando, and then the weather. I'm getting all this data from an API. So this is real data that I'm getting from a website that they have an API. So if I reload this page, you can see here that we have like a little loading and then let me reload again. You can see like we have some elements that is kind of representing that, hey, here are some elements, but you cannot see it yet, but they're there, they're loading. And then boom, you have the real information. This can happen in one second or maybe even less depending on the internet. But it's really good to have something like this and that way it simulates that your website or your app is super fast. I just wanna show you how you can use it with only CSS. It's very simple. There's a lot of ways to do this, but I'm gonna show you a very simple way and I think you can start using that with your website or app and be cool, right? All right, so right now I'm gonna go to whatever we have right now, which is here. And you can see that is um, there's nothing. I have some CSS. My HTML is right here, it's totally empty. We have a div with a class of weather card. And if I go to my CSS, um, you can see I only have CSS for the body, which is like this beautiful gradient and the weather card with like a background, some padding. And then you can see that this is the only thing we have. So now let's start coding our skeleton loading. So down here in the CSS, this is what I'm gonna do is so simple. So I'm gonna do weather at weather card, but there's something, there's a pseudo class called empty. And this is the magic trick, all right? So empty is just exactly what it is, is if this element is totally empty, then do whatever you wanna do. So if I go to my HTML, I need to make sure that my element the weather card right here is empty. There's nothing inside of it. There's no spaces. There is no elements. There is nothing here. And now I can use my empty CSS pseudo class and do whatever I want. So let's start by a height. Maybe I can do like 200 pixels, a width, 150 pixels. I'm gonna do a background image. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start placing different background gradients in my element that will simulate those circles and squares and stuff like that. So let's start by the little circle at the top, which is the icon of the weather. So it says that's going to be a radial gradient. And we can do circle. Let's do like the 20 pixels. And then the color of that circle is going to be like a gray which is CCC, and it's gonna go up to 100%. That way it's like the full circle to then transparent. If you're a little confused about this, I'm gonna post a link about a radial gradients and linear gradients so you can learn a little bit of, of what I'm doing here, but it's, it's gonna look good. So let's do comma because we're gonna keep adding more gradients, okay? So now it's gonna be the little square at the top as a linear gradient. And that one is simple, it's just gonna be the same color, it's like gray, and it's gonna go from gray to gray. Just like that. And we're gonna do another linear gradient, which I think is gonna be exactly the same thing. That's gonna go from gray to same gray. Now you can change this, it doesn't have to be these colors, you can play with them, they can look better if you want to. And then the last linear gradient, one linear gradient representing the whole thing. So this one, we're gonna change the color to like a light gray, going to the light gray. This is the one getting the whole card, okay? Now we're gonna do background size. This is very important. And now the first one is the little circle. Let's do that 48 pixels and 48 pixels. 
then comma. Now the second one is the other linear gradient that's going to be a little bit bigger. So let's do 190 pixels and 40 pixels. The third one is kind of the same size, 190, but a little bit less, so 20 pixels. And then the last one is the one that is taking everything. So that's going to be 100% by 100%, taking the whole thing, right? Now the background position, the little circle, I want it to be in the middle. So it's going to be 50% and 24 pixels. You can change it if you want to. The other little box, the little block, let's do it 15 pixels and 140 pixels. Then the other one's going to be kind of the same thing, 15 pixels and 200 pixels. And then the last one is going to be zero, zero. And very important, I don't want this background to repeat. So I'm going to do background, repeat, no repeat. All right, so I know that's a lot, but when you understand all these background sizes and background positions, it's actually very simple. So I'm gonna save this. And you can see here that we have um, the size. Uh, there is something weird because there's nothing in size. So maybe there's um, issue here. So you can see here the background is actually hyphen repeat. Let me save that. And there you go. So now we have different background images. So um, we have here this radial gradient, then we have the other gradient, the other one, and then the last one, which is the one covering the whole thing. So there you can see is not that you have different elements here. It's just multiple gradients going on. Something else that you can do is adding animations, right? Um, you can get very creative, but I have my skeleton ready. So for my animation, I'm just gonna copy and paste that. I'm gonna do it right here. All right, so you can see I'm just adding an element using the after pseudo class when it's, when it's empty. And you can see like, um, we have another linear gradient and, but then we have an animation here. So let's save that. And you can see here the animation at the top, which is not what I want right now, but it actually looks cool. Um, it's at the top because um, it has position absolute and it's going outside. So we need to go here at the top and the weather card, let's add position relative. Let's save that. And now you can see it's at the top of the card. They both look cool, I think. So do whatever you want there. All right, now that we have the skeleton ready, let's add the JavaScript and let's see how this works. I'm gonna go to my HTML and I have a main JS. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the script with the source equals to right here main js is in my is in my root folder so i'm gonna save that boom and you can see here now we have some data it's pretty small and i have some css that i'm gonna add so i'm just gonna copy and paste it to make it look a little bit better i'm gonna do it right here it's just h1 and the paragraph right there let's save that a little bit better so you can see we have an icon, we have the city and then the weather. So let's just go to inspector because I want to simulate like a slow internet connection, right? So here on the network, I'm gonna do instead of um, the online, which is your internet, I'm gonna do slow 3G. And I'm gonna reload this page. there you can see, there you go. So we had this skeleton loading. It's very helpful because you know that you have something there and then boom, you have everything now. Um, the cool thing is that if you have very slow internet or maybe you're in a house or a building and then you go to this page, you're gonna see something when you go there. Um, you're gonna see that skeleton and the loading. So you could, you're just gonna wait because you know there's something and it's just loading. And it seems like the website or the app is 
faster than normal because if you see a blank page then after two three seconds you think that it's not working and you're just going to close it don't worry about all the javascript that i'm using to add this data for an api but if you want to learn please subscribe i have some videos using that and i'm going to have future videos doing that so thank you so much and uh, that's it subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time i upload a new video thank you so much for watching have a beautiful day bye bye